Hello, welcome to the all sign reading and I'm going to do a little reading called blocks advice. No, wait, blocks help advice. So we're going to look at blocks. We're going to look at what help is out there from the universe and then advice, advice, advice. Okay. So I'm shuffling because I want to get the energy of you into the cards while I'm shuffling because I believe in that. If you're watching, obviously you're watching a recording right now, but you your energy is coming through in this quantum way so that you're part of this reading. So let's take a look. Top of the deck. This is for Aries. So we're starting with Aries. Transformation. Why are you blocking that? What is going on that you're not willing to metamorph into something bigger higher better um you know what happens then you get the death card that's what that is that's the death card that's pluto coming in and it's going to make it happen that's the feeling that i get so that is if that is your block that you don't know um how you can move forward i would suggest that maybe you find a few avenues before uh because if you're completely blocked pluto is going to move it out of the way that's what I think is going to happen, which is not pretty. So what is your uh, um, guidance from above? Ah, mm, of course. Listening to the ancestor, ancestors, inherited patterns, traditions, integrated wisdom versus knowledge. There are so many ancestors out there. If you just open up to those ancestors that are there to provide you for your greatest and highest good, that is the answer. That is the way out of um, the blockage, right? Um, it feels like you're, Aries, it feels like you're um, kind of stuck in this um, energy of being in the middle of a transformation. And with the North Node, you've probably been going through that anyway, kind of defining your own um sovereignty although usually you do a pretty good job of that but there's been on the other side of the block where libra is there's been a lot that of of relationship changes that have happened so let's take a look at the energy what is your advice page of swords getting good information right two of wands this is someone who is setting intentions, right? And this is also of travel. I kind of get that sense with a page of swords as well, that there's travel movement. Interesting. And the moon. I would say that you're going to be getting a lot of these big changes in at the time of this full moon in Aquarius that's coming in on the 19th. Huge energy. Um, it's going to be a little surprising. I feel for people, um, that whole energy of, I think people are going to really have to define what, what is something that they really care about, what really matters to you on a personal level, because Vesta, you know, you're, um, what lives within you, what you really care about, what you would be, be devoted to is going to be conjunct the sun during this um, full moon. And there's lots of, there's two separate T-squares going on. In, in astrology speak, there's two separate opportunities for a huge mess, possibly, with a lot of energy um, being generated. And some of that was Mercury square Uranus is still going to be in that mix that caused all those problems with the IT out global outage and people's computers and all that stuff. That's going to be back in the mix. Plus all this other stuff that's going to be out there. So I would say just decide what is your most important thing for you. What is your next step? What is your primary purpose and goal? What do you really care about? So, for Taurus, 
fulfillment of wishes. What is blocking you from this? Do you feel stuck? I feel like you're being blocked from this fulfillment of wishes. Um, you do have Uranus in your sign right now. Um, you will be, um, you had Mars already come through. So Mars is in Gemini. You do have a sextile to Saturn, but that is in retrograde. So maybe it's reworking some things for the fulfillment of wishes. And what do we have here for advice? Flow state. Flow state trusting in the adventure. The river dances to the sea. That energy of, um, look at how that, the river dances to the sea. More joy, more dancing, more higher vibration. I think that is going to serve you very well. And wherever you're at, being grateful and happy in that moment, knowing that this is great. I love this. I can't wait for the next. I'm I'm so excited about what's coming in next. I'm so excited about what's coming in next. So let's see what the advice is officially here. What is the advice officially? Top card. The sun. Leo. Leo joy. That new moon in Leo was all about joy and what you wanted to set, right? Beautiful. Three of cups. Celebration. Yes. Joy, happiness, dancing. What did I say? Dance more, laugh more. Four of wands, stability. And I know that you love stability. And this is, you know, this could be a possible marriage, but really to me, it's more stating that it's stability. So you may feel like you're being blocked from the fulfillment of wishes, but I think you can't, you can't underestimate how a high vibration is going to change that whole outlook, how um, dancing, the river dances to the sea, how being joyful changes things. Sometimes we can only deal with what is immediately in front of us. And I think that, um, it's a really hard task. You know, there's all of these sideshows that are out in the universe. <laughs> the magician. <laughs> no kidding. You can have anything you wish for. Really, you can. You just have to believe. Look at that. I love fairy tales. So, Gemini. The magician was just up, so that was Gemini. So let's take a look. Trapped in fear. Gemini, the traps that your mind makes for you. I'm a Gemini rising. I get that. Open-mindedness, perspective, nuance, and complexity. This and that are true. This and that are true. So whatever news is out there, there's probably a bit of truth in both avenues of thought or multiple avenues of thought. There's a bit of truth in each one of those. But you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know, I'm so confused. Welcome to the club. So let's take a look at what your advice is. Now, Gemini, just before... I still think that that might have something to do with you, that magician card that popped out right before you're reading at the end of Taurus. You have that kind of mind mindset. All right, here we go. Five of coins. Yeah, you're feeling, you're feeling that left out kind of energy. This is the little matchbox girl. But open-mindedness, perspective, nuance, and complexity. You know, it's warm inside. Time to find a door. The lovers. 
making decisions for your greatest and highest good. Four of Cups. It feels like an energy of not being, something just feels off, right? I know that the lovers was going to be the middle card here, but I feel like something just feels off. And I would say, trust your intuition. This and that are also true. I want one more card. Oops. I want one more card for Gemini. I'd like a volunteer though. Okay. Three more jumped out. So six of swords moving into calmer water, right? Five of cups, getting past that disappointment and looking and realizing that you have other options available to you. Mm -hmm. Death. This is a time of great transformation. Truly, truly, truly. So um, time to be brave and start um, looking at what is behind that curtain. I feel like you're, I feel like this is very, um, I think the biggest problem that you have is being trapped in fear. And for Gemini, that can be a big deal because you are very much um, a thinking person. And when there's confusion and things out there and things aren't adding up, and I, I suspect things aren't, aren't, aren't going to be adding up in lots of different ways. Um, do what Geminis do best. You can either go and explore what, what research it, but actually I think your better avenue is go learn something new. Geminis love to learn, love it. All right, now, cancer. This is cancer energy. Positive movement forward. Now, this is the blocked energy. Positive movement forward. So what is getting in the way of that? Let's see what this says. The true source of power. Divine will, integrity, power versus force. The wind, the sun, power versus force. And this is the true source of power, right? So I would say, um, I feel like this intention setting that we did and utilizing the energy of the new moon that was in Leo into this energy of Lionsgate, very, very strong energy of um creativity. So I really feel like um, recognize yourself as a true source of power. I mean, I think answers, you are a cardinal sign. Sometimes we need to, I'm sun, cancer sun. Sometimes we need to act like we're in charge, right? We're a cardinal sign. We get things started. We get stuff done. It may not be perfect, but it gets done. Right? Ten of coins. And isn't that just a cancer thing? Right? Family, generations, being around each other, right? The true source of power. Family, tribe. Oh, I think cancer's known that for a really long time. Justice. justice. That's Libra energy. Um, I do think that we're going to have lots of things that are going to be still pretty wonky, like through the end of the year, even six of wands, but you're going to be triumphant. Why? Because you know, the true source of power, your family, your tribe, most definitely cancer message. Most definitely, because it's like, um, the one thing about family is that they know your weaknesses, but if you're, if you're a good family, then they also know your strengths and what you can be relied upon. And then someone else that, that has a strength, um, that complements your weakness, 
you can get a lot of things done. Oops, you can get a lot of things done. I have to pick up this card. Now, I was shuffling for Leo. So, special little message for Leo. Ah, oh, Leo, 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 Leo. The Empress. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, block. Sacral chakra. This is a number two card. I, the first first thing that came to my mind was the cowardly lion. Sacral chakra, not pushing through. And the truth is, the cowardly lion actually had courage. Um, it showed up when his friends were in danger, right? Ah. Uh, Choosing higher ground, consequence, consequences, unconscious choice making, the burden of choice. So <laughs> that's just like fits in with the story. It's he thought, he thought he was a coward. The burden of choice, but the unconscious choice making. When it came down to it, family and the people he loved and friends were stronger than his fear, right? Two of wands, intentions, setting forth, moving forward. Nice. And knight of swords, a fast moving energy, very fast moving energy. So it's like he didn't have time to think about it. He just felt it and made the decision then. Seven of Wands, protecting what you love, right? And here you have the Empress, things coming to you, right? Beautiful energy, Leo. Lovely. Lovely energy. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I do love this deck. I love the um the fairy tale nature of it. And it feeds feeds my Gemini uh spirit. The love of stories. Okay. Now we are at Virgo. Another Mercury ruled. Material harvest. Um, if there is a blockage to this, now, Virgo is a sign of service. It is definitely that. So what is blocking you from the material harvest? Is it the connection? Um, let's see what this advice is. The sovereignty of magic. Synchronicities, miracles, and spiritual forces. So I think the material harvest that you're looking for has been blocked because you're not allowing the magic to come through. You're too hard on yourself. You are too critical of yourself. The universe doesn't like that because you would be surprised how loved you are. And Virgos are so self-critical you have so much magic in you. You are capable of being such a mutable. Okay, things change. Um, plan A has now become plan B. And you can do it. You do have that in you. I mean, it's it's not that you like it, but you can handle it, right? It's like, okay, change a plan. Here we go. Let's go, Virgo. So the sovereignty of magic, synchronicities, miracles, spiritual forces. Connect more with your ancestors. They have been saying reading after reading after reading, we have got your back no matter what decision that you make, no matter what, we have your back. We have your back. So I would say, watch for synchronicities from your ancestors. 
Oh, your tile is being shuffled. Okay. What do we got? Page of coins. The beginning of something new. Some some things have changed, so you have to start over. Okay, plan B. Heidi. Up in the Alps. Right? A new beginning. The hanged man. Sleeping beauty. Uh, yeah, I do like this energy. That trusting, um, looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, and it's funny because it's, you know, you have the um, sovereignty of magic. And these cards, uh, this particular deck, I always feel like it's full of that magic because there's so much. Um, these heroes believe that they can that they can do this and that makes a big difference king of wands king of wands you can do this you can do this um and trust i think you're not trusting yourself you're not trusting in that magic that is available to you believe 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 right very Interesting energy for Virgo. Very interesting energy. Okay, we're going to Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Interesting. Okay, for Libra. Crown chakra. Number seven card. Uh, so what's blocking your higher connection? You know, you have had a lot of changes with um, friendships, being that the South Node has been in your sign. A lot of changes, still changes coming forward because uh, the South Node will remain in uh, Libra until January 12th. And um, to me, that is definitely an energy of um, boundaries. You need to have good boundaries because you're not going along to get along anymore. Focus on the brilliance. Focused attention, prioritizing, persevering. Focus on the brilliance. What really is your priority? What matters to you? What makes you sovereign? Focus on what is special about you, Libra. I know that you symbolize often the collective, but that's more like going along to get along, which is Aquarius, the collective is more like everybody gets to be an individual. Everybody gets to be an individual first. So let's take a look at the Libra cards here. Page of Cups. That open loving relationship to yourself. Because you're important too. You need to be loved. You will always take care of people as well, right? But you need someone, look at this, this play, this play and this joy, this playfulness, right? Look at the magic in the background. Look at all those fairies flying. Magic. What else? Temperance, Archangel Michael, patience is required. But temperance also is about putting the right things in place as you move forward. And then um, when you need them, they come through or you're moving along the way and you get the synchronicities and you discover them, right? Four of swords, healing being wounded and healing. Yes, I would say definitely that's probably happened to you because of all this energy of the um, South Node. Lots of wounds. But you need to set good boundaries for yourself so that um, only those that... Um, 
believe in you and um, can understand your boundaries and follow your boundaries. I mean, if they're if they're there just to get you to provide for them and there's no reciprocity, there's no equal exchange of energy um, and they're not learning their lessons because you're doing things for them, you're interfering with their lessons and they won't like it. I promise you that they will not like it at all. It means they have to do the work. So we're at Scorpio. Scorpio. Memories of love. And it's interesting that this is water because um, Scorpios can feel things at such a deep level. I think it's the deepest feeling of all the signs. Um, and I think that when you get wounded, or betrayed or feel betrayed it just is soul crushing for you so what do we have here gifts from the universe synchronicity all the blessings everywhere you are loved and you're understood the universe understands right all the blessings everywhere and the universe is, and spirit is probably one of the few things that are is going to understand a Scorpio completely, right? Um, so keep that higher connection and that love connection because um, the problem with water is that it remembers. And so you remember when people hurt you and it um, comes back and the pain is just as fresh as when it happened. And that's really a problem that you have to get beyond because it's going to, you know, that constant remembering of pain is going to hold you back. Um, memory minus pain is wisdom. And that's where you need to be going. Head it, um, head it off with the universe and its blessings, blessings for you. Let's take a look at what the cards are. On the top of the deck, we have nine of swords. Rise above those those bad thoughts rise above it ascend above it no time for this you have better things to do you're needed elsewhere right the hermit that energy of um moving forward and and scorpios like their privacy you know cloaked um, but having your own knowledge and knowing, I mean, you know, what's right and wrong. You have that spirit within you and the hermit keeps their knowledge. Um, and those that they find worthy, like a Scorpio, those that the Scorpio finds worthy and queen of swords discernment independence, making the decision, acting like a queen, right? Scorpio is ruled by Mars, surprisingly. And um, yeah, best beware my sword, right? So again, remember that instead of letting those thoughts take control, it's all the blessings everywhere that the universe can shower upon you. You just need to um, come out of the emotional things that um, have dragged you back into this. I feel like it's loneliness. I feel like there's a, that there's a, um, you know, healing from things, but it's, I think Scorpios can be really lonely. Because once they've been um, been betrayed, then they find it hard to trust. But guts too. All right. Scorpio to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, 
blocking temptation. Ooh, Sag, what are the temptations out there for you? It's a number 15 card. What are you tempted? What are you tempted by, right? That is what's creating your blockage, temptation. And the answer is a clear way out, multitasking, getting organized, a way out of the weeds. Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign. So a clear way out, multitasking, getting organized, a way out of the weeds. Moving forward. I like that there's this, this um, third eye that's going on here. So I think I feel like it's getting busy with something else. This, this thing that's calling to you that isn't any good for you. What's your next steps? Getting things in order. I see that there's a, <laughs> there's a face peeking through here, right? Um, let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm interested in what the tarot has to say about this. A way out of the weeds, temptation. Sometimes you can't take the easy way. Nine of swords rising above the temptation, right? Because it can cause nothing but grief, worry, right? Six of Cups, going back into the past. Um, yeah, what, what were you raised with? What were your ideals then? I mean, they're sharing there, Six of Cups. Um, this can be someone from your past or a past life. It's very interesting. Ace of Cups possibility of new love, new relationships, a new beginning, right? Pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's not easy though. Tempt temptation is not an easy thing to have to deal with, right, Sag? Not, not, not. It's not easy. It's just not easy. There's always something. So let's take a look at Capricorn. Capricorn, fertility. What is blocking you from this? Are you seeing things clearly? Are you not making, I, I feel like three of cups, it's not the cups kind of energy. It's something else. Three of, I feel like it's the three of pentacles kind of energy, right? That's creativity. That's that heart chakra space. And that is what's going to bring, I think, in that fertility piece, uh, self-expression, protection, authentic self, the masks we wear. So not being your authentic self. That's the problem, Capricorn. Which I find is kind of interesting because Capricorns are usually pretty straightforward, no nonsense. But is that a mask that you're putting on? you know, to just be able to deal with the day-to-day -day that you're having issues with? I mean, you know, Capricorns can be a little bit um, abused in the sense is that everybody knows that they can get stuff done. So then everybody just leaves everything to them. So the Hierophant, the wise woman of the village. See, she knows how to do stuff, but she doesn't have to do everything herself. She knows how to do everything, right? But she passes that wisdom on. Teach someone else how to do things. Because I know you know how to do tons of things, but you can't do everything. So you need to teach people. Queen of Cups, your intuition utilize that. So you'll know how to teach somebody. I think you'll you'll know the best way to teach someone. Hands-on training. Let me show you. Now you do it. Right? 
seven of wands, getting the work done, that protective energy, that power. This is John Henry, right? Nice, 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 nice. Very nice energy. All right, Capricorn. We get to go to Aquarius energy now. Just shuffle these a little bit before I pull the Oracle cards out. Okay. Love begins. So if there's a blockage to this, I wonder what's getting in the way. Something from the past? This is the number one card. So it, it would be like um, the Ace of Cups. Now, all of the aces are about possibility. It's that first initial beginning. But it's it's a promise of something coming forward. But you have to encourage that. So what is this? Grace within the chaos, accepting life's complexities and the seduction of distraction. Right. It's never as easy as it looks, right? To nurture something into becoming something much more. And so grace with, within chaos, right? It's the, it's not allowing other things to distract you from, if this is what's really important, I would eliminate some of those distractions. I would let that, that person or thing know that um, they're important, that, they're, that they have prominence in your life, right? That they are, they are a priority. I mean, I can't take up all of your time, but they certainly are um, something that you are going to show is something you're interested in that deserves your attention. Because if something isn't fed with, um, I don't know, love, the love, the honor, the respect, people get distracted. Oops, you want to come out? The moon. Okay. Things aren't going to get uh, truly grace within chaos. Things are going to get very crazy, very crazy around the Aquarius full moon, right? The things that are important, the things that are important, you need to focus on, right? You need to um, allow um, the, the thing that is important to you to have your attention. Oh, these want to come out. That's fine. Okay. I was going to shuffle some more, but they're like, nope, right here. Two of Wands, this has come out a lot. Intentions, setting intentions. What intentions did you set on the new moon? What intentions are you using now during this this um, Lion's Gate? Which is going to be in effect for at least four or five more days, right? Movement forward. What's this one? Five of Swords. You can't just stop. All right, we all need to have a little pity party now and again, right? But then what? Time to get moving. Time to um, take another opportunity. Yes, it's disappointment, right? Did what? What did I make the right decision? You know, sometimes it's it's we think we had a choice, but sometimes we really didn't have a choice. Um, that. Sometimes fate takes the choices out of our hands. Um, sometimes that that's what Pluto does because if you're not on your on your right path, Pluto and Saturn will hold your feet to the fire, especially if you have um, if you have like this. There's a Saturn square coming up, and. Uh, if you have not been walking a good path, Saturn can make things difficult. Hope, 
Pisces. Hope. Um, have you lost some of your inspiration? I know right now Saturn is um, retrograde in your sign. And I'm feeling like this is, you know, you can, you can make this into the sun. I mean, you're in a very watery sign right now. Non-action, slow down, not yet frozen for a time. I think this is all about Saturn being retrograde in your sign. That's why it's causing problems, right? There's hope still there though. It's just things are slowing down. It's frozen for a time. It will be going back direct. Pay attention to the degree that it goes back direct at. And that will be important. Let's see. Pisces energy. Anything want to come out ah, for Pisces energy? Oh, it says take it from the top right now. Okay. Six of wands. Recognition. Here's the thing with Saturn. Once you do the work and Saturn has finished its transit, you do get a reward. If you've done the work, you get the reward. And sometimes that takes a while, but it is worth it in the end. King of Swords. With discretion and discernment and planning, Saturn is there also to get plans in motion, right? That's what it's there for, to really... Um, give scaffolding to your dreams that you can build, right? Get things started, get things going, really, you know, whatever dreams you had in Pisces, whatever it's connecting with in Pisces, Saturn, it can make things real. That is amazing. And then strength. Oh, you can do this. You can do this. I mean, it's going to be, a pain, but you are going to be very successful. Saturn always rewards the work. Always. So I want to thank you for watching and um, really keep moving forward with the Leo intentions that you set and take little steps and keep that vibration higher because we are on a different timeline um, than some of the people that are um, allowing um, fear or anger to rule them. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.